segment of the BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking just there. Anyways, let's start off uh, properly with a time and date stamp. It is 10 hours and 31 minutes into the day of Sunday, April 10th, 2016. Well, my ride wasn't able to come pick me up, so uh, everything fell through for uh, this morning for church, so I'm here. Uh, but I'm not, uh, uh, it, it, I'm going through my usual day, it, it, well, semi-usual day, that things are not usual. And I'm sort of in, still, I'm still in work, we'll call it my efficiency mode. And the efficiency mode, the efficiency mode kick, kick, kicks in when uh, I'm not able to work for long, oh, for long hours. And this is certainly the case here. I'm basically up for a couple hours. I was up a couple hours earlier, girl, or you know, earlier to get something to eat, something to drink. And every time I get up for a little bit, I do make sure I do some work. I've already uploaded the uh, next episode of uh, Big Bang Theory. Or out, that's up. The uh, the. SD card was unloaded the first uh, the series of clips uh looks that the uh big bang theory all segments were uh, loaded into the editing bay uh i'm going to sort of start queuing things up right now in just a few minutes that's how i get done here and uh we're moving along pretty well i, I i've set down just some calculations i think that we'll be caught up we'll be up to date with our vlogs uh starting uh, next monday not this monday coming but the monday after so Next Monday after, I start looking for the vlogs to be within a couple of days uh, of being shot. So it's going to be, you know, as close to real time as we can kind of get. So that, this, this, this is good. Part. This is how, you know, you work your efficiency model. You, 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 you try to move things forward. And your success is, is bit by bit. And eventually, you get to where you want to get going. It's not, you never have these large successes where... You immediately achieve what you intend to set out to achieve. It's uh, uh, achievement is is um, is something that that accumulates. It starts off in bits and bits and bits. You know, you have failure, some success, failure, some success. And as the successes start to add up, you progress and eventually you achieve what you want to achieve. And that's kind of the way things go here. Uh, so we will be talking more about physiology. We will go sort of develop that topic and get into that a little bit further. Uh, we will show how the physiology uh, through organic chemistry goes back to physics. We'll start looking at some of the psych uh, psychology of things as well. And what I'll tell you is I've said I had to leave uh, the, the the sort of the Kawhi segment, the, the the playful side of the nerd life, the uh, the the stuffed animals for the Kawhi. Uh, tea, house, tea House Channel. Uh, and I have a show that I'm working on called uh, Living the Kawhi Life. That's where I'm going to leave a lot of the the fun part, the play part, is going to be on that channel there. It's going to be in that show called Living the Kawhi Life. And that's currently under development. So I have another... That show under development. I have um, a show that I was uh, th th mulling over for a while now that's going to look at the science of Mythbusters. So to take the, the, the show Mythbusters, look at some of these myths, and get into the science. A lot of times, they, they when they shot the show, they sort of left out a lot of the science. So 
we're going to go back and take a look at it from a researcher's perspective and actually get into some of the science that, that, that they did and see whether or not they actually answered the question whether or not the myth is busted, confirmed or not confirmed, if, see if there's anything more to it, if there's, there's something that was not understood properly, uh, and if there may be more prob probabilities or possibilities than simply confirmed or not confirmed, you know, or, conf or not confirmed being busted. So, uh, that's what's on sort of there are our next steps to, the, to, to go. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do on the computer systems that uh, I need to, still, still need to do a lot of work on upgrading uh, the network. The network has some issues that have to be resolved. And then uh, I have to work on the Electronic Bench and Music Studio. So there's a number of products still to come that are still, still, still in holding. Uh, and I should have the, uh, the, see what happens when you, you, you only have to have the music, when you upload a video, you only have to have the video edited, but there is a section that you add where you just have the description of, of what's in the video. That description section I've, I have sort of, uh, done out in the system where it's listed, I, I can tell you what's going, what, what the title is and what's in the, what's, what's, what's in each, each episode. Uh, that description part for uh, Tweet Lines is not done yet. It's almost done. As soon as it's done, uh, I'll be uploading the uh, the first edition, the first edition of uh, uh, Tweet Line plus the first uh, clip or episode, if you will. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for now. I'll leave it here, and I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory or uh, BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Well, it's going to appear <laughs> as if there was no vlog for uh, for Monday, for uh, April 11th. I've been sleeping most of the day. It's, uh, things are going well, but I've been sleeping most of the day because I've just been completely wiped out. Let's put it that way. Uh, so let me give you a time and date stamp. It's an interesting one. It is one minute. That's it. It's one minute into the day of Tuesday, April 12th, uh, 2016. Uh, I just finished the write-up for the uh, second part of uh, the, uh, the part two of the introductory to INN's uh, uh, Tweet Line Plus. I decided to do... Instead of just... I looked at the one introduction and I had planned multiple parts. I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish the introduction in just in one segment. So I did put the part one up there without knowing whether they're going to be part two, part three, whatever, you know, however many parts it was going to take. So I sat down, did some uh, more uh, looking at things and uh, have now three parts to it. I finished the write-up for the second part, including some graphics that will go into the uh, second part the second part of the introduction. So uh, there'll be three parts of the introduction. Uh, I should have the uh, second part up tomorrow, uh, and then also, you know, as things get rolling along, things get more organized here. I'll be able to put them out on a uh, put, put put out the tweet line plus on a regular basis. So uh, that's what's sort of next. That was continuing with the vlog vlogging is now. You know, BTS vlog is now part of the daily schedule. It's part of the regular schedule. Even when I'm dead tired, tired like this now, I can do the vlogging. I can do vlogging. Uh, so that's not a problem. Now the issue is, so let's start layering in Tweetline Plus. Let's get that to a standard level, as a standard part of the day. And I'll start adding other things in as well. So, uh, you know, bit by bit, we add. this is how the progress comes along. And uh, uh, there's been another little shift to my diet. I'm always tweaking the diet and always sort of uh, trying to make improvements for my health and you know so on and so forth. Because you know I am living life on the edge. The the way I sleep is not good. It does cause problems. Uh, and, but the thing there are ways to deal with it. Right, and one of the ways to deal with it is with your diet. If your diet is healthy, you, you make sure your body is healthy, then your body can be pushed to these extremes in not as a detrimental way as if your body 
is not uh, properly trained, you know, to deal with these extremes. So uh, this is kind of where how my diet adjusts itself to. I said it's, it's always being tweaked and adjusted and uh, you know fixed up. And it's not that I don't have junk food or anything. I mean, and even when I talk about my diet, right? I'm not having bad foods in terms of oh, I have to have a diet. And, you know, I have to buy my diet food. And, no, it's not that at all. Diet is simply just the way you eat, the, the, the type of foods that you eat. And I decided to do more of a village style thing where I make everything. <sighs> so, then that's why I sort of set up, set up the diner. This is why uh, I have the Kauai Tea House. You know, all these things sort of play into the di uh, t to my diet, but at the same fun time provide a fun type of aspect, aspect to it, so... Uh, I'm still watching. I'm watching uh, uh, my IPTV. It looks like my my my, my um uh, the way I set up my the TV uh, choices, the the channels that I want to watch. That I have enough content uh, that I, it's it, it provides at least four or five hours of viewing. So. <sighs> So that's a good thing, and I said I'm now not right now. I'm working, um, just finishing up uh, some of the uh, notes for uh, the the uh, the second part of the introduction. So part two is being done now. Uh, I will probably film it tomorrow when I get up again, because I'm going to go back to bed in about a half hour, forty five minutes. Uh, I am very tired, very wiped out, so. Anyways, I will see you then. Alright, take it easy. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the next segment of the BTS vlog. I was supposed to vlog in the morning when I got up, but that didn't happen. That was around 6 o'clock in the morning when I got up. I ended up going right to the research desk and doing some work. So, uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 11 hours and 31 minutes into the day of Tuesday, April 12th, 2016. So, I'm here again because I'm going to go food shopping. As I said before, I was carrying too much. I need to try to sort of split my load so I don't have to carry as much as I did before. You know, I did before. So, that's where we are right now. Uh, I'm just going to prep my fridge for that travel. And, uh... Make sure that, you know, we're all ready for the new stuff that comes in. Make it easier to sort of, uh... Yeah. To upgrade, if you will. Yeah. So. set. Everything's all ready to go. Uh, I had to rearrange the uh, forgot to take you with me. <laughs> uh, I had to rearrange uh, the fridge a little bit so that when I come back it's easier to put stuff in the fridge than Than it usually is so. You know, I always try to make it work more efficient. Uh, I got um, the second episode of Tweetline Plus is in the editing bay. It's being rendered as we speak. I'm gonna have to do a second rendering on this on uh, Tweetline Plus, uh, simply because. I need to put some graphics into it. And so the first rendering simply puts everything together. And then the second rendering uh, is when I do the graphics. I'll put the graphics in then. So uh, that's kind of how I process everything. 
And they, 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 I find the research really interesting because you find information that you don't really know. And it's, 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 it's you see, I wonder if people who write some of this propaganda stuff, uh, or, or what I would consider to be propaganda, do they understand that how they contradict themselves? I mean, if you're lying, more often than not, it's hard to keep track of how you're lying, and you'll find the contradictions uh, in the work. I mean, one of the uh, articles I just, you know, was looking at about Larry King, uh, because now he's moved over to RT now, it uh, says that RT is basically a mouthpiece of, uh, of the Kremlin, that this is a, you know, it's a propaganda channel, you know, and it can't be trusted. Then on the other hand, it says, well, RT has given voice to other, you know, many other people who would not normally have a voice. So who else is on, who else is in RT? Jesse Ventura. You have uh, seen people like Pat Buchanan. You've seen uh, ex and former C, uh, CIA agents. Uh, you have generals on there. Uh, you have basically anyone who's got an alternative voice, whether left or right, they're on RT. They've, they've all been interviewed. And RT doesn't censor their stuff. So how is this propaganda? And, and, you know, and even the article itself admits this. Yet they, they're insisting that, that RT is propaganda. They can't understand why uh, or how, uh, why and how uh, Larry King ended up on RT. But I can. If it's a better environment, then yeah, you're gonna go over to RT. You know, if if, if the standard environment like CNN, ABC, uh, and all the other groups, all the other media sources are becoming heavily biased, and they're sort of telling you what you can and can't say on air. Of course you're going you're to move over to another channel that welcomes you like that. And that's what, you know, I mean, a lot of people, when when, 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 when Larry King left RT, I mean, he left CNN his last few days and Pierce Morgan took over, a lot of people, got, you know, really suspected, did uh, Larry King actually leave CNN or was he fired? You know, but, you know people noted that CNN's political views had changed. That there was a shift. I mean, I mean, CNN was always left, but initially, CNN was uh, uh, during the '90s was called the Clinton News Network for many reasons. Uh, but then uh, later on, it seemed uh, around 2008 and 2010, it seemed to morph from the Clinton News Network uh, to the. Obama News Network, and this is possibly one of the reasons why uh, Larry King uh, got fired, because he wasn't uh, sort of beholden to the idea that uh, he should uh, politically censor or present a particular political point of view. He stays neutral. He asks his questions, uh, whether or not you'll like the guy, or, you know, the, the guy he's interviewing or not. He gives the guy a fair shake. I mean, this, and this is what, if you're an interviewer, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be sort of, you know, the entire show is about your opinion or trying to convince us that you're right and everybody else is wrong. That's not, that's what not, you know, this type of uh, political, geopolitical interview is not about that. It's about presenting the ideas that this person has and, you know, sort of getting to the understanding of why the person thinks the way they think. And Larry King does this. And at some point in time, they replaced him with Pierce Morgan. So, anyways, um, I think it was 2010 they replaced him with Pierce Morgan. Then, uh, less than uh, a couple years later, I think 2013, uh, RT picked up Larry King. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to be back in about uh, two hours. 
I had to stop off at a department store, uh, an Asian department store, and see if I can get a new pair of shoes, because the boots here are kind of, they're on. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, take it easy. I am back. When the fatigue is there, and this is the problem, while well, the, the load is lighter, the fatigue makes the effort in many ways just as difficult. But, over time, as the load is lightened, and my body adjusts to that, will get somewhat easier. I left just about 11.30. Let me go check the time so I can be a time and date stamp. It is 13 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Tuesday April 12th, 2016. So that means it's 1.30 p.m. We left at 11.30 a.m. That is a two-hour hike. So. So. Where do we go with this in terms of physiology? Well, the weight will be somewhat less. Because the walk is still two hours, the actual workload, the amount of exercise I get, will fundamentally mean an increase in the workload. In the sort of the uh, yeah, workload, it's an hour and exercise load. So the energy energy expenditure uh, it's not hanging out. Of the body goes up. And that means uh, more exercise. The department store I went to didn't have the ice pack, didn't have the shoes I wanted. They were out of stock. They don't carry that much in terms of stock. They carry, uh, you know, it's basically, uh, they just carry over stock or discontinued items, surplus. And whatever stock they bring in, that's it. So if you're, if you don't, get your stock, you don't get what you want, it's typically you have to wait. Usually, if it's particularly if it's seasonal, you can wait till next year to get it. Or, you don't end up getting it at all. So. <laughs> these, are, these, are your, these are your options with these stores. Usually, I can find what I want. And even when I don't find what I want, Like the project list, if something is not workable and you can't get the job done on, on that list, then you move to the next thing. You don't sort of say, oh well, I'm not going to sit here and do nothing because I can't get that work done. So what did I say I needed before? I say I needed ice packs. The one that I have that's small like this doesn't do a good enough job. It would be better if I had 
another one. Well, I did the size check. I wanted to see how much how much cold I wanted to have in the bag, and I got two. These together came out to just about four dollars. So I spent four bucks on ice pack. And now I'll be able to walk as I need to. And this is particularly good for the summer. And not worry about the food going bad. The Asian store is usually full of surprises and you know, options that you don't necessarily see everywhere else. Uh, I enjoy milk tea, that's uh, tea, or we we'll call chai latte, but I don't buy my teas in bags. You know, I get them in raw, in the raw form. And you can always get at it, you can always put dried materials in there. And this is what I got here. This is dried honeysuckle. I got this for about a buck fifty. Yep, this much for a dollar fifty. So there's a lot you can get at an Asian store. There's a lot of things that you can, you can get. I got a huge bag of candy. Those are the dry sucker things. I got this. I got two, this for uh, two for two dollars. Uh, and the Asians use uh, a lot of uh, uh, brown sugar and hard sugars in their food when they're cooking uh, to bring up the sweet, bring up the sweetness. When they have talk about sweet and sour or the sort of the sweet, sour, and hot, the trifecta there. Uh, uh, they use, a lot of times they use uh, brown sugar. And so I got the brown sugar, uh, two packs, and that will last me well, more than a month. Or, uh, so I can make, uh, what do you call it? So I can make my uh, my, my different di my dish different dishes the Asian dishes. Of course, I got two lemons, and I got this device for about thirty dollars. Uh, it's a, a small bottled de uh, humidifier. You put a bo uh, one of these uh, sort of uh, drinking bottle of waters, uh, drinking uh, bottle of water, into it, and it turns it into steam. Now, why do I want this? Uh, in order to clean up, sometimes, as you, particularly as you get older, even sometimes you, when you're younger, uh, you have problems with the ears, and a lot of times it's an earwax, earwax issue. Well, a humidifier like this, giving your head a steam bath, clears a lot of the wax out of your ears. So I picked this up for 30 bucks. So I, I enjoy my shopping. I like going food shopping. Uh, so let's get the uh, milk out, the perishable. There's the milk. A second bag of milk. And the thing is, one of the one that I got that's sort of going to make things a little uh, more interesting for my meals is. Uh, 
I got three bags of uh, frozen shrimp like this. Not a bad price, five dollars each. So this is all fifteen dollars all together. So I can make a nice uh, shrimp and rice meal. But if you've overcooked the shrimp, it doesn't taste good. So what I got to flavor the water that, that you make the rice in, in other words, when you make your rice, you don't have to have it just plain water. You can flavor the water and keep it, you know, if you put the right amount, you keep the water in there with, you don't have to drain out as much water with the rice. So if you Democratic Earth. Earth.